lives a group of very lively ferrets, known as a business. Ferrets are social animals and need company. Amongst the business is a three-year-old albino called Mr Peabody, who is currently living apart from the rest of the group. So at the moment, he's got his little bachelor pad. The rest of the group all live together, so I've got five of them. They're currently in their summer house, which is a large hut. Mr Peabody has had to be removed because he's a hob, the name for an unmuted male. If Peabody remained intact, it could lead to aggressive behaviour within the group and, of course, the threat of an unspayed female ferret becoming pregnant. So in order to be reunited with the business, life is about to change for Mr Peabody. Not long, we can all be friends, promise. Yeah, he's going to be going to the vets and he will be castrated. Of course, there's always the threat that the group won't accept Mr Peabody back into the fold after the procedure. No wonder he's looking a little anxious. Ferrets are often mistaken as rodents. They are, in fact, mustelids, a family of fur-bearing carnivorous mammals that includes otters, badgers and weasels. For thousands of years, ferrets have been domesticated because of their hunting skills. With their slender, agile bodies and inquisitive nature, they love to explore and being such social animals, they can bond very closely to other ferrets and their owners. It's Mr. Peabody's big day. Currently intact, he has a smelly, oily musk in his fur to help him attract mates. Let's put you in. But once neutered, it should be less of a problem. Of course, wanting to mate is perfectly natural for Mr. Peabody. But the group doesn't need any more ferrets. <laughs> Hi, dude. Yeah, I think we need to get rid of those. Yes. Mm, then you can go in with the others, can't I? Yes. Okay, That's what we're planning. It's a relatively simple process, but it's always nerve-wracking leaving your pet at the vets. Bye. See you later. Be a good boy. A few weeks later, and Mr. Peabody is recovering after a successful procedure. As you can see from last time, he's a lot more chilled out. His hormones and everything are sort of starting to settle down and everything. But there's been surprising news. There was a bit of a slip up. He did get in with Lady. And since then, actually, Sunday just gone, she's had a litter of five baby Peabody's. It appears our amorous little friend had one last moment of triumph. Baby ferrets are called kits. At just four days old, Mr. Peabody's offspring are blind, pink-skinned and tiny. They'll spend most of their time suckling, sleeping and growing. In just six weeks, these kits will be 30 times heavier than when they were born. For now, it's important that they're kept with their family for at least nine weeks. Just like dogs, they'll need pack socialization as they learn how to get on and what is acceptable behavior. It may be a frustrating time for Mr. Peabody while he recovers, but at least he can look out and see that Beast, one of the gang he'll soon be rejoining, is as lively as ever, despite also having had this procedure. Is that him moonwalking? Oh, beastie. Beast may appear to be dancing, but this is what's known as a weasel war dance. <laughs> in the wild, it's used to confuse prey, but in domestic ferrets, it's simply a sign of excitement. Ferrets are notoriously clumsy during this dance. Whoops. And they make a chortling sound, known as duking. Maybe he's just happy that Peabody will soon be back. <laughs> Come on, then. It's time for Mr Peabody to rejoin his friends. 
straight away, there's a bit of sniffing. Are they going to accept him back in the gang? Cleaning his ears, that is a good sign. Sniffing of the nether regions, also a good sign. Of course they are. It looks like Mr Peabody has hardly been away. For a first time introduction, that's pretty textbook. I think we'll be good.